Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. I know you've already looked at the pictures and you're saying to yourself, wow, that is a great looking car. Don't feel bad, I said the same thing. That's why I had to buy it. When you see pictures online, they are, a lot of times they're beautiful, but you don't really know what you're getting. And why we do, we do these videos is the simple fact is to let you see for your own eyes, 3D, nothing you can manipulate. Everything here is real. This way you know exactly kind of what you're getting. Also, we're going to do some tests today to help you verify the car. If somehow you miss this car, uh, if you're out looking for a car like this, that you do some verification on uh, some of these things that, that are authenticated for you. Then we're going to look at the quality of paint. We're going to talk about a couple upgrades you could do on the car if you wanted to. I think it's as beautiful just as it is. And that's what I love about cars here. Like this, uh, the cool thing is like you can get a great car here, but if you wanted to add a couple small things, make it your own, right? That can all happen before we even deliver it to you. So anyway, just something to think about. We're going to get get started on this and we'll look at this beautiful beautiful build all right so this is an important part of the video here this is the part that separates the photo people from the photo and video people why because again back to my original statement is you can manipulate photos but the video is going to show some quality and things like that that are real and a couple small things all right let's talk about first uh, some upgrades that you can do right so the original 3.6s uh, came with uh, the 18 inch uh, speed line wheels. These look great on the car. That's up to you. You can certainly change those. Uh, we can help you with that if you want. But again, I'm just throwing a couple of uh, those small upgrades that are available. Uh, most importantly, though, is we want to talk about uh, conversion cars that are, that are fiberglass or uh, other things that they should not be. In this case here, how do we know we have a real turbo body car? Well, what we do is we start with this. This is a magnet. This tells us right away that this is a steel car. I don't want to slam it on the body, but you can clearly see that what we have, right, is a steel car and not some sort of uh, replica glass uh, creation molded into something else. It's really, really nicely done. And then the last part of this is the quality of the paint, because the quality of the paint is the most important, right? Because even if this car was uh, the fastest car in the world, if it was primered and rusty and whatever, but it's still the fastest car in the world, the, uh, the, the likelihood of you buying it's pretty slim. It needs to look good because that's what we like and this is exactly where we are on this car. While I show you the quality of the paint, I want you to start with looking at this. I want you to look at the ceiling in the paint first, right? You can see every rib. You can see our beautiful uh, lighting system, the duct work in here. All that stuff's crystal clear. That's the difference between photo and video. And then when I do this here, right, and you get to see the quality. Look at that right there. It is exactly as it is on paper. You could say that that's mirror finish. We've described it as mirror finish, and it looks exactly like that. All right, so while these are considered exotic sports cars, they're also considered the most daily driver exotic sports car built out there. And you say, Tom, what does that even mean? Like, how could that possibly be a category? Well, I'm going to show you a couple reasons why they are so popular, why they're expensive, and why they last for so many years. So, for instance, here, right, when we look under here, all right, this is all nicely done. You can put some soft luggage bags in here to go away, right? This already has an upgraded audio system in it. There's the amp, the subwoofer speakers, and things like that uh, that you can associate and plug that into. Um, this has a strut tower bar here. That's a big piece for keeping the stiff ride of the car really nice. You don't get that secondary bump in there. Kind of eliminates that. The battery's up front, right? Put some weight to the front of the car because the battery can weigh 50 pounds, up to 50 pounds, right? And we move that out of the engine compartment, but it came from the factory right in there. Nicely done in here. New carpet, new paint, all that good stuff. Makes it nice and shiny. And then one thing people ask me all the time where I see them do it is is how to close the hood of these cars. You don't slam the hood, because this is this is uh, aluminum. Uh, some are aluminum, some are steel, but anyway, the, the hood is super light, and when you close it, all you need to do is put your hand on the emblem and close it that way there. That way you don't get handprints on the hood, you don't have to wipe it down each time, just a small little tip. All right, so you might call this the money shot. I say agreed, however, the other money shot is when you start it and you hear it. But let's look at the expensive parts that are back here, because we've spent a lot of money and time in there. Let's get back here where we're delivering some power, all right? So we have a polished B&B exhaust, big pipes coming up back. When we start this car for you at the end of the video, uh, you'll understand a little bit more about what's going on in here, all right? Polished uh, intercooler, uh, the pop-off valve is billet, right? All detailed in here, rebuild. 
One of the things that makes these cars more collectible and collectible is because they're just so easy to drive with a lot of power. They're comfortable. People who are uh, like myself, who are 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", can ride in these cars and fit in them. In other sports cars, you got no shot, right? Here we have uh, all of that that's detailed back here. The decals are in place. Like if you wanted to go to a Cars and Coffee, this would be a cool car to be able to do that in. Uh, if you just want to drive it and have some fun, it's exactly that too. All right, so you're walking up to your car and go, man, this is a great looking car. And you realize, you know what? It's my car, which is even better, okay? But you're going to spend a lot of time in here. And that's where we're going to spend a few minutes sitting in here and seeing why and how uh, these cars work the way they do. All right, so in here, uh, again, I slid the seat back. I'm 6'1", I can barely reach the pedals. I like to show that because depending on whether you're 5'5 five, five or 6'4", you know, these cars fit you really well, not to mention there's a lot of headroom in here. Uh, these are carbon seats. We'll film a little of that there. Digital audio system, right? Sound is important to everybody. This is a very expensive sound system in here, right? We have uh, an Alpine head unit. We have MB quartz speakers uh, uh, in the doors with tw tweeters there. Subwoofers, two of them down below here. Four more speakers in the back here, two on each side, right? This is, this is a pretty serious audio system. It sounds really nice five speed for long distance driving. And you know this is a serious car because when the speedometer says uh, 170, like 170, it means it's serious, right? And uh, 7,000 RPM tack and then a full array of gauges. I love a Porsche because all the gauges are right here, but the most important gauge is the tack. They don't care about the speedometer. Speedometer is there because it's required to be there. They care about engine RPMs and making horsepower. Lastly, I like to do a little quiz. Most people, I ask them all the time, why is the key on the left over here? And they say, well, uh, tone, I don't know, right? And I'm gonna share with you why. So back in the day when Grand Prix racing was there and the, the drivers would be on the other side of the track, okay? We're talking 356 days, stuff like that. Um, uh, Drivers were on the other side of the track. They had to run across the track to get in the car, right? And it wasn't a grid like it is today. They were all lined up on the side and whoever got out first kind of got out in the front of everybody. In the case of here, the driver would get in the car, right? Would be able to turn the car on and put it into gear at the same time instead of having to start it and then move his hand down to here. So that extra second could be the difference between getting in front of somebody and being behind somebody and it never changed and it turned into the passenger cars as well. So it's a great story. That's exactly how it happened and it's just really nice. Anyway, back to comfort, leather, carpets, just super, super nice luxury car. All right, so let's close up the video on this car. I got a lot of haters to the side of me over here trying to dispute all of the words coming out of my mouth. I'm sure everything I said was wrong, according to them. I don't care. Anyway, what we care about is this. This is a beautiful car. This car drives as well as it looks. This car is fast. It is comfortable. It is easy on the eyes and it is triple black. It's all the right things, all the right colors and all the right reasons to find a place to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, cool 911 Turbo. And if you don't mind, hit the uh, share button down below. I appreciate that to get the message out. Hit the like button as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out every day. I'll see you on the test drive.